Hello friends, welcome to AM Tech channel and this is yet another video. In this video, we are going, we are not going to see about electricals. In this video, we are going to see about the Excel sheet because uh, even though the technical is foremost important for engineers, the report generation is also mandatory. So for report generation, we have a powerful tool called MS Office and in MS Office for report or database management, more powerful tool is MS Excel as you all know. So now for the next uh, some videos we are going to see about the excel sheets so how to make a report in practical applications so in this video we are going to see about how to change the uh, this bar of the chart depending upon the values in other words how to do conditional formatting of charts uh, according to their values for example you can see in this sample chart and uh, you can see here I have set the target for the breakdown as 1.2 percentage and I have entered some values randomly to explain this. You can see how I have written is when the particular breakdown percentage of the month reaches greater than the target, it, it will be shown as red. And if it is well below the target or equal to red, it will be shown as a green. Now you can see here I have given April 1.2, 0.5, 1.5 like that. And one April 1.2 is equal to the target and that's why it's shown as green. Now I am changing it to 1.3 percentage and it will become automatically as red and then similarly you can see June it's showing as 1.5 percentage and I will bring it below the target of 0.8 so it automatically changes to green and same similar way you can check for everything I am putting here 0.5 percentage for October now it is in green and it will become red like that and don't mistake me due to hurry uh, added april and may also so it will be showing 14 bars and don't mistake me okay this for example similarly here april is showing a 0.9 percentage and i am changing it to 1.3 it becomes red. and this is what we are going to see in this video how it is to be made okay let's start now first i will delete everything i deleted and this also I am deleting these sheets also and here is some hidden and this also I am deleting I delete everything and I have this time I will correct this ok now I am setting a survey at all as 1.2 percentage and now I have to enter a breakdown percentage here before that I have to configure this uh, cells for percentage and it is I have already set for percentage with the decimal places of 1 and and uh, next uh, we want to categorize uh, which value should, should come in green and which value should come in red so I am making two columns green here the font is kept as black sorry, white I am making it to black see here something hidden I told us only red and now so I will enter the breakdown percentages 0.5 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.1. Give a command to the Excel sheet to which to choose as green and which to choose as red. Here I am putting a formula here. We are going to use if statement equal to if this value is lesser than the target. Actually, it is lesser than the target. It's lesser than that if the value is lesser than the target we have to uh, print the same value here and if not we should return an error as NA and this is what I have done and now we have to drag this in this you have to keep in mind that uh, these values will change but uh, we are going to take reference on this cell and this cell should not change in uh, next uh, uh, rows and all so what we have to do, we have to lock this cell, okay. how to lock, you can see here, we have to put a dollar symbol for H2 is the uh, particular cell's target, H2 is the cell ID of the target, you can see here H2, so I am putting a dollar symbol before and after a, a H so that the value will not change, if I drag also the same H2 will remain, you can see here can see here also same the h2 h2 if i have not put the dollar the h2 will become h3 h4 h5 like that and you can't 
get the correct value so now i have classified for green and similarly i have to classify for red if the value is greater than the target the value is greater than the target um, print the value if it is lesser than the target show as error and before this we have to check this cells is also formatted for percentage and i am taking here and it is also formatted for percentage okay now i have locked this cell so that it remains same have to lock it locked the h2 target cell minus enter and now i am just dragging it and you can see only the cell that uh, has the breakdown percentage value above the target is shown and balance are shown as ne not applicable like that and now we have to make a chart uh, insert call up it this is for what old ms office and new ms office it will be nice and i am explaining unfortunately i don't have that new one so i am explaining it here insert in the charts tab i have taken column in that i am taking stacked column because it shows a two color so i am taking this now i have to select the data i have to select data for this this month and i am pressing the control key and i am setting this values okay and enter you can see here the values came and we can delete this series 1 and series 2 no need now it came and for a better looking we can change the color of this we go to formatted data series fill solid fill i am giving the color as green for this close and the values about the target i am giving as red again fill solid fill red okay completed this is how we can change this and we can garnish it by adding some titles titles you can do in page layout sorry set as the chart and this layout chart title and above the chart title and give it is click down percentage for the financial sorry for the financial year 2021 and that's it you can check it cross check it now uh, now for the june month the breakdown is reduced and it became 1.0 you can watch the zoom here june nothing here june is not showing here uh, i have to make like this the target it shows june as a thing because now we have set the uh, values for uh, we have program like uh, if the values lesser than the target Yeah, it should be green and it should be greater. It is, if it is greater than the target, it should be red. And now it is equal to the target, so it shows nothing. So for this, what we have to do, we can go in green column and we can add. If it is greater than or equal to, add. If we add greater than or equal to, it will show green. And it, okay, now let us try and validate it. September is for me zero point three. and i have to change this target above the target so 1.5 you can see it became red and november 0.9 it is in it shows as green now i am changing it well below the above the target so it shows 1.6 and for march it is 1.5 i am changing it to 0.2 it become green this is how it works and if suppose if this green and red looks awkward to you you can move somewhere to the corner of the excel sheet so that it will not be visible or else you can simply change the color of the font to white so that when presentation it will be useful for you that's it guys hope you like the video if you like the video do comment share and subscribe the video 
and don't forget to press the bell button next to it so that you will be notified at all times thanks bye bye